right, guys, we're back here, uh, Roller Dad News with the RDN Roller Show. We have Rob Turnema of La Beta Hockey here. Um, it's been going all over the internet, and literally blowing up our social media posts with the new La Beta wheel that came out. So we're going to be here talking to him about some of the technology behind the wheel. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Vancher Custom Vans. Uh, they gave us this beautiful van here that we're doing these interviews in, doing something a little different with like an RDN Roadshow. So without further ado, Rob, what's up with the new wheel? Everyone's talking about it. It blew up at tours. Travis knows wearing them. I know you've been testing it for a while. So just give us some background on uh, how this came about, the technology, whatever it is. Sure. Um, yeah, we've been working on this guy for about six years. Um, it's a uh, first wheel we've applied for a patent on. Okay. So we really feel the tech uh, is new technology and it gives us the opportunity to push the, the boundaries and the envelopes in regards to technology. So the biggest thing um, behind the wheel is if you you imagine, you know your wheel with spacers in between it. Right. You got your bearings and a spacer in between the bearings. We've now taken the bearings and we've put them side by side. So you actually have a very thin center of the wheel. Okay. And that thin center um, now allows the wheel to have an earlier flex point. So right. it's flexing from the center of the wheel, which allows the wheel to flex earlier. But it actually has a like a powerful snapback. So it, it allows the wheel to have the injected urethane um, core. Everything you're pushing down into it, right. it's kind of pushing you back out of it. So, so it's it allows, like a response technology. Uh, 100%, like a springboard. And um, you combine that with the spacer system, because now since the bearings are packed side by side, right. you have no more center spacer. Gotcha. But now you need outer spacers to actually fill the void that you have in the, in, in the, the um, bearing. axle yeah. and, and uh, assembly for the axles. So this allows us to now put the spacers on the outside, which now we have the spacers not creating, or I should say the frame not creating a pinch on the bearings. Right. So the spacers now meet, not in the center of the wheel, but offset under the bearing uh, race, which now gives us a stronger point of meeting point, but it also allows for a freer roll. Gotcha. So whenever you know, you're know you rolling, you have no more restriction. Yeah. So the wheels just roll. There's no special bearings. There's no special anything going on here outside of the fact that the spe right. bearings are not getting pinched. pinched. So yeah, and you see it a lot of times with roller bent chassis and things like that. I feel like this would help because it's not pressing on the bearing because normally you have frame to bearing. This is frame to spacer on the outside. And we did, uh, we're gonna do a little test, but we're gonna spin the wheels and see how long they actually spin for. I got a fresh set of bearings in there, so they should go for a while. Um, it, was there any kind of, uh, what was the idea behind the color? Is this gonna be the color moving forward? Are you gonna offer them in other colors? So this will be the color moving forward. Awesome. Uh, it will launch with the pink. Um, I don't see it changing for any immediate time. Sure. It will eventually, but um, we want everybody that gets on the floor with these for people to know this Who's, is what they're rocking. Is it? Yeah, yeah, this is what they're rocking right now. Smart. Uh, we feel the technology allows a player to be much faster on the floor without compromising any grip right so you're getting the best bang for the buck in in regards to uh, rebound and energy and everything you're getting back as a skater yeah i mean i used them for one game the grippiness was i told you when i was in warm-ups took me a second to get used to them because they are super grippy now i see holes on kind of the inside of the wheel is that just for the weight just make them a lighter wheel because the your skates have to be several ounces lighter now at this point yeah it's not lighter it, it actually works into the grip points of okay. the wheel so it allows the different urethanes to work with the harder center core to allow the wheel still to, to grip in the certain situations right. when, it, when it does flex to grab. Awesome. So it's just everything that's built into the wheel is built in for something that actually allows the wheel to give you some type of uh, performance benefit. And you guys have been around for a while. You're innovator, innovators in the sport at this point. So this is some technology that is not out there. It's amazing. You guys talked, to, you talked about the patent earlier. So this is... I, I think, like I said, it blew up on the internet. So this is going to change, I think, the wheel game for, for a long time. Um, kind of switching things over to Pama. You guys are 3-0 uh, at this point. Uh, one last game against Mars Blade. Uh, how's the vibe in the locker room? What's, you know, what are the boys talking about? Everyone feeling good? Yeah, everyone's feeling great. Um, we came in this tournament, took a couple hits on uh, some of our defensemen, got injured over the last few weeks. And, um, you know, our, our boys have responded, and everyone's rallied around that, too. So it's almost like... 
you know, it's, it's made us a tighter unit, and, yeah. you know, everyone's battling for each other. So yeah. You're seeing guys like Mayhew, JT, really stepping up their game at this point. They play a lot of minutes anyway, but you're really seeing them touching the puck a lot more, driving, you know, getting the puck in the forwards' hands, which is, you know, one of the best biggest benefits of Palma. Uh, going into the last game, anything special against Mars Blade? They're a team that plays, you know, they play a physical game, nonetheless. A lot of ice hockey guys on the team, but you guys have played them over the years. Anything different, or are you just going to stick to your game and work the game? I mean, it's a team we know well. They know us well. So, um, you know, we've been uh, battling over the years. So it's just, you know, we need the win to grab the one seed. Yep. You know, they need the win to position themselves for the best seeding possible. So it's going to be a battle, I'm sure. And uh, As every game is at Palma. Exactly. And this is what we expect when we come here. I mean, it's the best hockey for the summer. Yep. And uh, every team's a battle. And it allows you to, you know, at least show up here knowing that, you know, if you're able to pull this one down, you know, you're the yeah. best team in roller hockey. Hey, listen, you guys are, you know, the defending champs from last year with an epic win in that game. You guys look good this tournament, so I appreciate you hopping on, explaining the technology. I'm a big geek with this kind of stuff. I like learning about it. And when I was talking to you and Scott upstairs, it was awesome just hearing about it and how much passion and knowledge you guys have with this wheel. So we appreciate that you guys are in the sport and you guys support us all the time. No, I appreciate right, it, man. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Hey, thank Thanks. you. Perfect.